Hey everybody, welcome back to Brew Chatter TV. Thank you for tuning in to this video today. Uh, this is a question we get a lot in the store, so we wanted to talk about how many beers are in a keg and just break it down for you. Yes, we have quite a few kegs here on display. We're gonna start at the smallest volumes and then we're gonna go to the largest volumes where you see it a lot of your um, dorm room parties, you know? <laughs> but we won't get into those or too many details because there's a lot of things that I don't wanna talk about in my dorm room parties <laughs> where 15 five kegs are involved. But we're gonna talk about how many pints are in each one of these kegs. Yes, Starting exactly. off with the one and a half gallon Torpedo ball out keg. Yeah, let's start with the torpedo. The the one and a half kegs or nine gallon kegs are nice because you get you get 16 pints out of it, and it's it's travel size, right? We have these cool mobile pressure kits that you can throw on there, and you can transfer your commercial beer into it. You can transfer your homebrew into it, and see, it's see extremely we, small. Yeah, it's, it's super small. I never small. get that, and this is way too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I can't believe we went there already. I need something bigger. It only takes seven. <laughs> <laughs> I never hear that either. <laughs> but one and a half gallon keg, very small. You know, you got your lid. This is like your torpedo keg, you know, your ball lock connections. But you can only put one and a half gallons in here. It's pretty cool for like, you know, traveler, you know, like RJ was saying, you go to the barbecue and stuff like that, you know, hang out with your friends. You know, you only plan on drinking for about 15 minutes, you know? <laughs> Throw it in your backpack, take it on a hike. <laughs> yeah, because how many pints are in this keg? Like what, five, 10? I don't even know. Yeah, 12 or 16, sorry. 16 pints? 12 ounce, 16? Do you want to read yeah. your cheat sheet? Yeah, sorry. I have a cheat sheet <laughs> and then I totally spaced it. So 16 12 ounce pours in yeah. this one. Thank you. 12 standard pints, right? Basically <laughs> three growlers. You drink out of these. <laughs> but it's actually sort of cool, you know, if you got like your, uh, you want to keg a sour beer or something you don't have a lot of volume on or like a mead, if you're doing one gallon mead kits. Yeah, one gallon like mead and seltzer kits, those things are killer for it. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, they definitely have their place in the homebrew world yep. and they're a cool keg. They're just a little small for me. <laughs> it's, it's only good for about 15 minutes of drinking, like you yeah, said. Yeah, by myself. <laughs> and then we got the two and a half gallon keg. And this is also a torpedo ball lock keg. And, and these are great because it's a, it's a little bit more volume. It's an extra couple growlers in there. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit heavier. It's not quite as portable Sweet. as the little one, but it's really close. And it's still a heck of a lot better than trying to carry around a full five gallon keg. Yeah, it's a little lighter. You can do one of these, you know. You can sit there and do your, you know, your two and a half gallon curls. Two <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 16 ounce curls. But how many pints are in a two and a half gallon cake? So in a two you and a half. You can't see it. Let's see. Ready? Go. 20 Imperial pint. Imperial pint. Uh, 2.5 gallons. 2.5 gallons. Quick math. That's imperial 19. pint, 16. <laughs> I beat you. So okay, you, what is it on the pints? An imperial pint, by the way, is 19.2 ounces. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 20 pints. <laughs> In, as in a standard or 20 standard pints I should say <laughs> and then you, you get you get 26 12 ounce pours from this guy so if you're like don't show my notes I'm trying to sound smart and it's not working yeah <laughs> you're sounding smart you're fine <laughs> I feel like you patted me on the head when you said that <laughs> you're doing great you're doing so good yeah so again great we've got mobile pressure kits for these guys too you can take it to the barbecue Fit, fit in a backpack. Yeah, it's 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 good. Okay, so five gallon cakes. Five gallon. This one is a used ball lock cake, but uh, it does the exact same thing as the new ones. You know, you just it's used. That's why it looks like this. But anyway, five gallons. This is more my speed. Yes, this is this is kind of the gold standard base base. So you're looking at forty pints in this. Forty pints, and it's still fairly mobile too. I mean, you can move this around, but you'll have like forty pints. How many imperial pints are in here? 34? 33. 33 really? is what I meant. Yeah. 12 <laughs> ounce, 53. 53. So that's that's quite a few beers. This is what you're going to see. Uh, these also come in ball lock, by the, or pin lock, by the way. Yeah, which, you can get some. They're a little shorter, fatter. Yeah, a little shorter, fatter. We like the ball lock because it's a better connection system. But this is what you're going to see more often than not for homebrew kegs. And also, it's the it's pretty much the, the standard in small format for most American breweries. Yep. Commercial. So, Homebrew. Exactly. You know, and then some of your small breweries actually use these too, but you should be using these. Yeah. <laughs> some yeah. home brewers use these too. I yeah. know. Here, put that back over there. Yeah. Give me that. So, five gallon used ball lock cake. 
Now we're moving on to the one six or six dual or five gallon or 5.2 gallon or how many different volumes do they have for this? Five, 5.1, 5 <laughs> 5 5.2. It seems like they're all the same volume. It seems like every brewery just calls it a 5.1 or a 5.2. Some call yeah. it a 5.17. Um, the wine, the wine kegs come in these two and it's like a 19 to a 21 liter. Yep. And this one is, yeah, one six five gallon keg. Yep. How many pints are in this one? 40 pints. Because we just said it, right? Because we just said it. the same volume? Yep. So do we really need to talk about this one? Oh, we already <laughs> are, so we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Commercial keg. Commercial that one, keg. That one uses a Sankey coupler. Yes. Sankey D. This is the most common standard American craft brewery, uh, American coupler in general. This is what you're going to see more often than not. Yep. It, it's very simple. Just goes on, twists, or like in... Press the handle. My history of drinking when I started, it was a pump. <laughs> You'd go, <laughs> twist it on, stand on your head with the solo cup. A pump? <laughs> <laughs> It typically wasn't craft beer, though. Yeah. Just, just saying it. There was a time in my life where I drank other beer. I drank other... Never mind. <laughs> I'm not sure where he was going with that. Uh, I'm saying, Moving I on. Drink so this beer one all the time. is the 15.5. Yeah, so this is the most common large format commercial keg you're going to see. Yes. Um, as you can see, we got this one from, from Sierra Nevada when we were pouring some of their beer. Um, you're going to see 120 pints out of these guys. Which is awesome. How many Imperial um, pints? One. Did you practice for this video? It's 103 on here. 103. That's what I meant. <laughs> 12, I, I knew I was close. Okay. 12 ounce pours, if you want to go that slow, is 165. Yeah. So you can get quite a few beers out of a standard large format keg. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see sometimes other breweries will do like a 50 liter keg, which is 13.2. That's only 105 pints. Uh, yeah. Heretic puts all their stuff in liter kegs, or at least their half barrel kegs, not really half barrel. Yeah, 50 liters kind of their large format. And you see it you, you see it with some American craft breweries. You see it a lot with European yeah. breweries. It's like a little shorter. Yeah, a little but it shorter. But still, it still accepts a sink decoupler, yep. which is very convenient. Yes. So. And th there's some other couplers out there. If you get European beers, you're gonna see an S. If you get German beers, you're gonna see A, M, or G, I think. A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's all kinds out there, but these are the two most common, and, and D is going to be the most common. Yeah. They look, they appear to be almost the same coupler, right? They look very similar, but like as they're both depressed, the, um, the probe on this Euro coupler is a little longer than the Sinky D. So yeah. that's like the biggest difference right there. You can see how it's longer, it's a little narrower, you know? So like if you go to try to put this on a standard keg, it's not gonna work. And but it'll go on and everything, but when you try to depress it, it won't go down all the way and it'll just give you issues. <laughs> well, and in an emergency, you can use an S on a D just as long as you're willing to get beer all over yourself and everything around you. But it will work. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd just get a Sankey D. <laughs> just get a Sankey D. I've done it on accident. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> yeah, in the store, in the kegerator. Yep. It was everywhere but it, it will work in a pinch but we don't recommend it so here's our we'll, we'll just go through these couplers real quick because yep. we did go through all the kegs except we didn't talk about how many were in the 30 liter kegs and 50 liter i don't think we mentioned that did we yeah the 50 liter so 105 pints 88 imperial pints and 140 12 ounce pours like i said that's the the uh, an uncommon american large format keg and a common european large format keg it's mostly what the Europeans use. Um, the 30 liter, and that's a good point, that's 7.9 gallons. Um, you're gonna see that a lot too. Um, like when we get Golden Drock or when we get um, Orval mm -hmm. in a small format keg, that's a 30 liter. Yep. They're cool. So, yeah. You know, typically disposable sometimes. Yeah, those, uh, what do they call them, key kegs. Mm -hmm. The key kegs, that's what this coupler is. Those are kind of cool. Um, it's it's a one-way keg. It's a little cheaper for the breweries to import in. Also, you see a lot of your wines, you know, from Napa or, or wherever, people who are kegging their wines. We get those in key kegs, too. Those are cool because key kegs puts pressure in outside, and inside the, the vessel, bag. and squeezes the bag. Yes. So you can you so, can run your wine on CO2. So if it takes you forever to drink your wine, it's not carbonated towards the end. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um... But set, we didn't mention a seven and a half gallon keg, also known as a quarter barrel. You know, also known as a pony, or a pony. Which, yes, the <laughs> like uh, 
who uses those? There's some breweries out of Colorado that use them. Odell. Odell uses them. Yep. To, you know, they use core cakes. You know, there's quite a few. Uh, you know, Anheuser Busch uses core cakes. You know, we can name drop Anheuser, I guess. <laughs> so in our, the difference yeah. between like a craft quarter, they, they they they've got a slim quarter, which is basically a, a fatter version of the five gallon, the six tool, mm. and then the 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 eight one, like you were talking, is basically this guy, but like a quarter of cut it. in half long ways. Yep. <laughs> so. Yeah, so it's it's a little harder to work with. Yeah, it takes up all that room in your kegerator. Yeah, you it, know, it's you, or, you you lose all that space for half the beer. Yeah, for like sixty pints. Yeah, yeah, sixty standard pints, fifty imperial pints, um, 80 12 ounce pours. If you're pouring a quarter of um, what was that, Lugine, that big milk stout that we got Lugine. from Odell. I know. <laughs> so that, that was a pretty good beer. Too. Yeah, it really was. Another plug for Odell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did a video on Odell behind the scenes. You should check it out. Yeah, you should check it out. But anyway, yeah. we're getting away from what we're supposed to be talking right. about here. Back on track. So hopefully we answered all the questions. We hit all the commercial kegs and the homebrew kegs that we stock in the store. Well, we don't stock the commercial kegs. We only pour out of those ones. But uh, <laughs> Truth. the homebrew kegs, you know, the one and a half, two and a half, five gallon, six stool, and half then barrel. Half barrel. And then you also got your quarter barrels and your imported European cakes, 30 liter and 50 liter cakes. Yep. So exactly. if you missed anything or we didn't show a certain coupler or something like that, you can always go and log on to the Brucranium Brew Blog where RJ wrote out everything and took pictures of the bottom and everything about the coupler. The receiver in, on the keg. Yeah, the receiver to show you what it would look like. And he also has bullet points for all of the kegs and I'm gonna sneeze. So, of all, <laughs> all of the beers. All the kegs, all the sizes, and then easy identification for what kind of keg you have. So, yep, super cool, makes it super easy. Check it out, link yep. is in the comment, or in the description. <laughs> and uh, like and subscribe, and hit the bell if you're into it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Brew On. Brew On. <laughs>